So good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this uh, SAB course on uh, the BG database, making gene expression useful easily. I'm Mark Robinson Rashavi, and with Frédéric Bastien, we're going to be giving this course. And so we we'll start with the introduction of the of us, of the trainers, so that you know a bit who we are and where we come from, and how we're making this database. We have here uh, links to our social media presence on Mastodon and Twitter. And is the slides changing? Yes. So I'm Marc Robinson Richavi. I, uh, I am originally French. I obtained a PhD in uh, Lyon in France on the evolution of rodent genomes in the previous millennium. During that PhD, I mixed experimental biology and bioinformatics. And after I defended my PhD, I never did experimental biology again. I preferred bioinformatics. Uh, and I've been a professor of bioinformatics in the Department of Ecology and Evolution of Lausanne, Switzerland, since 2005, where I had a group which, on the one hand, studies evolutionary biology, on the other hand, develops bioinformatics tools, including, I mean, most importantly, BG. BG actually started on the first small side project on trying to have homologous gene expression in 2003 while I was still in Lyon. And I restarted the project when I joined Lausanne, and then I hired Frédéric, uh, and that's when really the project uh, man uh, really uh, became uh, functional. So my research group is focused on the relation to genomics and EvoDevo, as well as related topics such as gene duplication, natural selection. And also, since I'm introducing myself, something about me is that I am very passionate about many issues about science and society. So I'm an activist of open access. I'm an activist of equity, diversity, and integration in science. I like a lot to communicate science, although with blogs have been going down and I'm not the kind of guy to make a YouTube channel. I do it less than before, but now you can find me on Mastodon speaking about all kinds of things. Mastodon is a open source and decentralized alternative to Twitter, basically. And these are just some photos illustrating my uh, uh, career this last year. So this is the group as it was in Lausanne in 2006 or oh, seven. This is the one meeting we managed to have outside in the woods during campus closure at the worst of the COVID closures. This is the group a few years ago. We have a t-shirt with biology equations. Uh, this is after I had my integral lesson as a full professor, Frédéric giving me a nice envelope from the group. And this is a funny story that I was in a conference, organizing a conference, and they wanted to, me to wear a green tie to identify me as an organizer, but I did not wear a shirt. I was wearing a T-shirt. I hadn't brought any shirts. I never wear ties. So I said, I can't wear a tie. I don't wear ties. They said, well, we also have a scarf, a green scarf for women who organize the conference. I said, cool, give me the scarf. So... Uh, they were very, uh, they really liked this, the organizers that I was wearing the women's scarf and they took photos of it. And uh, this is the group in our latest uh, group meeting in December. So you see it's a quite big group with a lot of people who work on different subjects. And now I'll give the floor to Frédéric. Hello, so I'm Frédéric Bastion. Uh, I also studied uh, in France, I'm French. So I have a background in uh, ecology and evolution, and yeah, I joined uh, the labs of Mark uh, in 2007. And my work was to study the evolution of gene expression after duplication. And for this, we wanted to build a database allowing to compare gene expression between as many species as possible. And at the time, that was only in five species, the five model species, uh, Xenopus, zebrafish, mouse, human. Um, and then at the end of my PhD, uh, the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics decided to support BG, to found BG, so I stayed in Lausanne. And now the team has grew over the years, and now we are a team of eight people uh, working at developing this database, allowing biologists to get clear information about gene expression, where genes are expressed, to make comparison between species. And, and now we have 52 species in BG. Uh, and so now, after a few years now at the, at the SIB, uh, I'm associate director in, uh, in the evolutionary bioinformatics group of Mark, and I lead the development of, of the BG database. I lead the team uh, developing BG. So I also have a few photos uh, just to show you 
what we like to do uh, in the work setting. So on the right, you get a lot of photos at social events. And I would say it's because it's kind of representative of how I conduct collaborations. I mean, I, I set a lot of collaboration during those kind of social events, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, I like to interact with people in kind of informal settings like that. And on the left, on the top left, you have a, a photo where the whole group was uh, working at writing a paper. And I, I, I like this kind of collaborative work environment. Developing a database is definitely something that it's not a project that you conduct uh, alone. You know, it, it has to be a group work. And I very much like this. And so, yeah, Mark and I, we go back a long way now. So you see also a photo uh, that I take of Mark taking a photo of me, you know, at a conference a few years back. And uh, yeah, that's it, I guess, for introducing ourselves. Sorry, sorry, thank you. And so uh, for those who joined uh, in the last minutes, welcome also. And on the document of the course, you have a link to a Google Doc to introduce yourselves. So in a few words, you know, whether you consider yourself a bioinformatician, a computational biologist, a microbiologist, a evo-devo zoologist or whatever. 